Uh, how do I present Warning. my ID? Scan failure. Uh -oh. Please present ID or exit the building. Okay, that's not good. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout. We are playing Tale of Two Wastelands with the Capital Punishment mod list, and uh, we are about ready to go into the Super Duper Mart here. If you missed the uh, last episode, we uh, took out all the baddies on the outside here, and um, then I had to end the episode at that point because I had to go in real life, and so, yeah, now we're ready to get started. Now, before we do that, I do have... Here we've got this Chinese spec ops training, which gives us a permanent one point to sneak. Uh, and then we have this plus five sneak. This is a temporary. I don't know how long it lasts, uh, but let's go ahead and take it. We don't want to use the speech right now. So um, if we look at our stats, um, effects... Yeah, we, we've got the plus five to sneak, but it doesn't tell me how long I have it for, so I don't know uh, how well that's going to work. Okay, so let's do this. Um, it's going to probably be... I'm just looking at my, all my weapons here. It's going to probably be pretty dark in here. Okay, so let's just go in with the, the silenced weapon. What? That was the C key. I accidentally pressed it to crouch. I don't know why that caused us to fire. Um, all right, let's go in. So we're looking for a bunch of food and medical supplies in here. Oh, shit, there's a guy right over there. Well, maybe it's not as dark in here as I thought it was going to be. Let's turn our... Well, if we turn our own light off, it gets a little darker, but we don't want to bring... Any unwanted attention to ourselves? Okay. Right, so there's somebody over that way. Um. Let's check this cash register. Grab some money. Don't like to be in the light here. So I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of work our way around the perimeter. And at some point we need to take that guy out. Activate intercom? No, that's probably not a good idea. So sorry about it being dark here. But, uh... I gotta stay stealthy. Shh. At some point, we'll be able to get a, um... Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Uh, we'll find some night vision, and then that, that'll make things easier. Vodka, splint, and a shot glass. Oh, nice. Duct tape. A laser pistol. Okay, cool. Um, inter 31 energy stealths and a, and a stealth boy. Um, oh, okay. Very easy lock. 58 energy cells. Nice. Bottle cap mine and another laser pistol and another energy cell. All right. Let's finish looting this room and then we'll take a look at those laser pistols. Oh, good. Stim packs. Definitely want those. And we'll see. Um, I don't really have... You know, I'm not really specced into that, but... I, I vaguely remember the last time I played this, which, remember, was years ago. You know, that I found the laser uh, pistol in this place. Okay. Let's put this away so I don't accidentally misfire. And let's take a look at these laser pistols. Ah, they're not in very good condition, are they? Okay, well, let's repair the one. Make it a little bit better does 54 damage. Oh, 
Oh, see, it just jammed on us. <laughs> okay, that's about as fast as I can fire it. Cool. All right. Well, that's another weapon for us. Uh, but I think we want to stick with our silenced weapon as much as possible. All right. Let's turn this back off. And head out. Or tin cans. And my my own camera lights making it hard for me to see. You know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that off at least for now because it's really glaring on the screen for me. Okay, so again, let's just kind of stay along the perimeter for now. Could go in and grab some of the a few of these things. There's a little catwalk thingy too that we could climb up on. But I think I'd rather stay down low for now. Alright, I'm not gonna pick up every damn can in this place. It's just gonna take too long. There's a guy that just moved over that way. Ooh. We could draw him over here. Let's just keep staying to the back for the moment. We could probably... Oh, there's a, there's a couple guys that way, though, too. Um, We could probably take him out without attracting the attention of all the other dudes. There's a guy up there that we got to watch out for. That's a little bit of a long shot for me to hit from all the way back here with my pistol. But that's the only silenced weapon I have, so... Let's look down through here. Those shopping carts are in the way and I don't want to bump into them and make a bunch of noise. <clears throat> There's also someone back there too. Alright, if we could get this dude to kind of come around the corner and then hold still long enough for us to get a headshot off that would be wonderful let's just wait here for a second and see what happens yeah. okay stop no stop dude <laughs> shit some empty milk bottles up there. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> okay, still says caution. Let's get away. Okay, good. Alright, that went reasonably well. I need to I need to try and um, get better at headshots though. Milk bottle. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, shit. Don't do that. See, now that guy looks a little more armored. I think we might want to deal with him, though. So he doesn't cause a problem for us later. So what I'm going to do is let's go this way. Take that money. Um, we've got our area back here, too. <clears throat> Nuka Cola. Okay, there's nothing in there. Go back this way. Got a Mauser. Thirty damage, forty two damage, <clears throat> thirty eight damage. Can we? Can we take this silencer off there and put it on the Colt? Um, let's let's see. So, here, before we do that, I'm going to do, uh, oh, this has uh, phosphorescent sights. That's nice. Let's do a quick save in case I fuck something up here. All right, I want to go to you, silence pistol. I can't take the silencer off of it. Is that because it's built into it? Hmm, Okay. So the Colt does 42 damage, the Mauser does 30, the Silence does 38. So yeah, let's just stick with this weapon, because it's stealthy. Uh, did we get any good apparel? We just got more Badlands armor stuff. Raider Sadist armor. Got a lot of shit in here now. So this gives us five guns plus five energy weapons if we want to use our laser. Um, and eight DT. So even though some of these have better DR, damage resistance, uh, none of them have the DT or the gun options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repair this. Oh, actually, hold on. Go back here. That's the only one it'll let me repair. Okay. Just to consolidate. Oh, okay. okay. That's all it's going to let me do. So I it's probably just because I don't have a really high enough repair skill. Fair enough. Okay. Let's go in here. This is just the restrooms. this somebody's been doing druggies back here
Okay. So that takes care of that section. I'd like to pull him back here. What? Why do you keep doing that? Oh, shit. What are you... What the hell are you doing that for? Get back, you monkeys. I got first call on the goods. Here we go. I think we're probably far enough away from the rest of them to use the shotgun, maybe, without them hearing it. Okay. Ah. What? The? Oh, did I scare him? Now he's running away. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to pull him in here so we could take him out. Are you... Dude, you're so stupid. Come back here. What? Okay. <laughs> At least he's not like running away, running away. Got him. Okay, so that takes care of that guy. So I got a bunch of bad bads in the back that we're gonna have to deal with though. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for the moment. I don't think the guys way back there can see us. Oh good, we got more 10 millimeters. And um, we got another 6520 pistol. But none of that stuff we can repair at the moment. All right. Empty soda bottle. Okay, let's turn this off. Don't like the light. How bright it is in here. That went well. Nice. Okay. All right, let's get this out. Oh, another 10 millimeter pistol. Very good. And more rounds. I love it. Oh, we're getting, we're heavy now. Okay. So what we're going to have to do... I wish I could repair some of these. That's a 10 millimeter plus. What does the plus mean? Oh. That says that's got a silencer on it as well. So th this does 42 damage. This does 44. Yeah. It does have a silencer on it, but it doesn't say, like, this one says silence. This one doesn't. Huh. Okay. Our current one is still in just a little bit better condition, though. So let's keep using that, and then we can fall back to this one later. All right. So we can't repair any more of these. So I think what we need to do is... See, those are in pretty good condition, though. I mean, we could make sell that stuff, you know? 
So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put this on. It's going to give us one less uh, agility point. But if, you know, these are in uh, most of these, with the exception of this one, I guess, is over half um, repaired. So, you know, we'll make a decent amount of money with them. We might end up still needing to have to throw them out anyways. This blaster armor. Let's go ahead and drop that one at least. Okay. You have equipped a backpack. Yep. We know all about it. Oh, right. We do need to make sure it stays in good condition. Uh, oh, and then we can repair it. Oh, there we go. With that duct tape we found. Nice. Oh, come on. Why won't you let me fully repair it? Ah, some kind of bullshit with our skill level, probably. Oh, yeah. Look at all that stuff. I'm going to... Uh, no, I'm going to put this... Turn this on. I think I still hear some footsteps. Let's get this ready in case we get into a close range situation. Ooh, frag mines. Yeah. And more 10 millimeter ammo. Love it. Twelve gauge round. A police shotgun. Oh yeah. Uh where is that? Police shotgun. 75 damage. It's in pretty terrible condition, though. Um, still. Uh, oh, sorry. Wrong button. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's probably going to jam on us, but hopefully it won't jam too bad. Alright, so this door is locked with an average lock. That's an easy terminal. Uh, I don't have very many <coughs> excuse me, points in science. But we could try it and see. You ha oh, I don't even have enough science to hack it at all. We could try an average lock, I guess. How many how many bobby pins do I have? Nope, I can't do that either. Okay, well damn it, screw it. Forget it then. Forget I said anything. All right. Super bright back here. First mistake, last mistake. Yeah, tear them apart. It's jamming, not good. Oh shit, that didn't do much damage at all. you go. Where'd you go, bitch? Oh, oh shit. Die. <laughs> it's jamming like terrible. Oh, she's running. Here. Sprint. Don't let her get away. Don't kill me. Now the thing works. Oh, now it's jamming again. <laughs> Damn it. You know what we should do is save our ammo and just whack her with this. You're a raider. You've killed hundreds of people. Preyed on innocent people. Got a med kit. And so you you deserve to die. Okay, we got into the... Yeah, it's just weird, man. When I use my melee weapon, it screws up my field of view. I have to bring the pit boy up to fix it. It's really odd. Okay, so we got a 22 pistol. Still can't repair anything. That does 20. It's got two thingies of bonus critical damage, so that's not bad. 
22 long rifles. And then um, this can be repaired. But I don't want to re use this to repair it because these are more valuable than this, I think. Whoops. See, that's only worth um, 22... My it says minus 22 caps. What does that mean exactly? Does that just mean... It's so, so bad that they're not going to give us any money for it? I'm, I'm not sure, I guess, what that minus thingy means. We'll have to take it back and sell it to a vendor and see, you know, uh, what, what that does. All right, that may have been... All of the rest of the bad bads. Are any of those lockers lootable? Splint, three war book, turpentine, a bottle cap mine, a conductor, or 10 millimeter rounds, and frag grenades. Uh, we don't have enough lock picking skill to open that. Shit. Okay. Uh, I guess that's... Take that, I suppose. Okay, I guess that's all there is for us to do in here. Alright, so where were we supposed to... Oh, where were we supposed to find the food? Do we have to get into... I bet you we have to get into this room. Oh no, that sucks. Oh, we got a key. We mu okay, we must have got a key off of one of the bandits. Very nice. Okay. Darts. Leather belt. Braxo. Sensor module. Duct tape. Um, can we... Where's our backpack at? No, we still can't repair it. I guess, though, when it gets back down to that threshold... Somebody open up the... Hang on. Something ain't right here. I wasn't expecting that. thought we'd killed everybody off. Oh. There's a robot in there. Man, thank God we have that backpack, huh? Okay. We need to find the food and meds for Moira. That's like our main reason for being... Oh, look at this. Nice. There we go. Okay, so that... A, a mini nuke. Okay. Medical brace. 556s, five, 556s, five, 556s. Five, 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 Very nice. Leather belt. Another Kniffy. I mean, as long as I can keep picking stuff up with my backpack, I'm going to keep doing it. At some point, though, we're going to... We're going to run out of room here. Surgical tubing. Man, we're getting a lot of frag grenades. That's good. Oh, I wonder if we get the food over here. Liquid nitrogen. Grape Nuka-Cola. Psycho. Mintats. Oh, I definitely want the rat away. Good lord, look at all this Nuka-Cola in here. Where's the food, though? I wonder if we have to go... back out into the store along the aisles to find the food. I 
That says it has a value of 25. Let's grab it. And we we want the quantum Nuka Colas for sure. Because those we can sell and make some money. What's that? That's some jet. Grape Nuka Cola. A vacuum cleaner. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll take that alcohol. Probably just end up selling it. You have to really look along these shelves because some of the stuff you can't really see very well. All right, I think we've looted all the significantly valuable coolant component. Okay. Stuff out of here. Now, can we even do this? It says very easy. Okay. Um, if we let this guy loose, though, it does does he attack us as well? I don't know. I don't think that he does. All right. Let's see. I got to remember how to do this. Um, we have to f figure out which words are the right words. Deems, sorts, leaving, doing, lock, scarf, guido, smile, spare, there, shave, slave, shear, snare, while, spies, scale, crime. Um, okay, so let's try... This is a real easy one. <laughs> uh, let's try doing. Exact match. Please wait while this is... To oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> Run maintenance routine. Loading sequence. I, don't, I hope this guy doesn't attack me. I don't think he will. Uh, okay. Error maintenance and oh, it's in progress. Okay. Oh. Loading personality. Robco R04 V9. Office helper. Running default office protocol. Error. Loading daily agenda. Error. He's Security breach detected. Please stand back. Oh, you're not coming after me, are you? He said security breach detected. Um, that's I guess that's all we can do. Okay. Is he going to go after the bandits? Oh, there's a there's one out there. He doesn't. Fellow office employee. He thinks I'm an office Please employee. Oh shit. Valid. There's two more back there. Uh, how do I present Warning. my ID? Scan failure. Uh oh. Present ID or exit the building. Okay, that's not good. Will he come after me? Let's, uh, let's turn this off. I'd like him to go after the bandits. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. How are we? Uh, how are we? A hundred and two pounds overweight with our backpack, which only gives us fifty pounds of weight. And I'm still moving like I'm not encumbered. Oh, you know what? I think it uses action points. Uh. Yeah. Okay. It uses action points. I, I just remembered that. Okay, so we can still move, but our action points are consumed when we do so. It's going to say. Okay. There we go. That's what we want to have happen.
Is she... hey, you wanna get close, huh? Huh? Oh man, there's a shit ton more. Oh, she Is got vaporized. Citizens are advised to clear the there's area. a shit ton more people in here now. It's like the whole gang came home. Alright. Well, let's let him do our dirty work for us. Uh, as much as, you know, as long as he can last anyways. They'll probably eventually take him out. And we'll just mop up behind him and grab all the loot. At least that's the theory. A machete. And it's not in too terribly bad shape either. Let's look at that real quick. Okay, so that does... 19 damage. And so does our tire iron. But I like the machete better. Because machete. And it does bonus limb and bonus critical chance. Whereas the tire iron doesn't have any bonuses at all. Alright, so we're gonna... That's now gonna become our new... Uh, melee weapon. We've got a lot of... Fr Look at that. Holy shit. We've got 20 frag grenades. It's amazing. I love it. Okay. Let's, let's switch back to our silenced weapon. And let's just see if he aggroes some of these other people. I, I think we need to go in the middle of the aisles to find the food. Because I think we've been in all of the side rooms and we haven't found the food for Moira. Okay, so the robot went that direction. I thought I just saw a bad bat over that way. Yeah, this one over here. Okay, we'll see. Let's see if we can take this one out. I saw him swing around that way. Okay, you know what? Let's turn the light on because he knows where we are now anyway. Did he go back around this way? Oh, shit. the corner. And that is not doing very much damage. Oh shit. Fuck. Stem back quick. Reload quick. the door. Okay. okay, that was kind of a close call. <laughs> I mean, no, it wasn't kind of a close call. It was. All right, he's still kind of aggroed on us a little bit. So, the shotguns... Okay, I've got something wrong with me. The shotguns are, um, you gotta, uh, apparently you, you need to be even closer than I was expecting to be because when I shot this bandit from about this distance, didn't really do that much damage. Of course, maybe some of that was armor mitigation on her part. All right, what do I have for aid? Um, combat stim. Military bandage. Stops bleeding. Um, 
do we have uh, i bet you we probably have what's that do 10 percent improved healing all right let's take that i don't think that heals us directly oh yeah that's why we have some serious head crippling going on here uh dr spag wait what so you're saying it's not going to heal my head at all? Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Really? And this this mod is fucking brutal, man. <laughs> it's not going to let me heal my head. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Yep. Medicine skill. How do I? Oh, I just click. Okay, so let's let's heal our left leg. Wait, did that even do anything? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to have a damaged head for a little bit. Is there anything else I have that can just heal me in general? The, uh, yeah, the bandage will for 20 seconds. The combat stim movement reload. Food, HP, sleep. Wow. Really? Okay, we might have to do something about that. Um, I want to be really careful about taking this stuff because... You know, we have the one of our our perks or traits makes us doubly susceptible to addiction. So I'm just super want to be careful about taking drugs. <clears throat> what does this do? Restores 13.2% of max health and stops bleeding. Okay, well let's let's let this bandage that we just took get our health back up because it'll work for yeah. See, so <laughs> we're gonna start. Having concussion issues here. All right. Okay, do we have another? Yeah, let's take another bandage. And that, sh that should get our health pretty close to back to normal. Oh, it's right there. Oh, he's almost dead. Got him. Okay. A Chinese pistol. Now, I wonder if... I wonder if that robot um, is still around or if the bandits eventually killed him if he is still around he's probably fairly well damaged I don't hear him that... did I just see somebody else in here it's really hard to tell because my head's really screwed up. Nope. Hmm. Okay, I I think we've cleared the place by now. I just don't know where the food is that we're supposed to be finding. I keep running out of AP points too because I'm so damned encumbered. This is terrible. Um, drinks purified water. That gives us 20 more action points. Yeah, let's let's take Nuka Cola Cherry. At least it'll give us more AP to move around. I 
I just want to make sure we don't have any more hostiles. Oh, yeah, the robot went down. Search. All right, we'll take all that. Why not? We're already encumbered as shit as anyway. Anyways, is this uh oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Chinese pistol plus. All right, I think we're in the clear as far as enemies go. We just have a serious head injury <laughs> and we keep running out of action points. Um, is there something in here? Oh, here we go. Is that it? Nope. Rats, I was hoping that'd give us the food we needed. Yeah, I was just looking to see if any of this... help us with this concussion issue but i don't think it will all right so yeah let me let me look around some more and see where that extra food is so we can finish this quest and then i'm gonna have a long slow trip back to megaton to sell all this stuff unless we get lucky and run into a vendor along the way I think we already went through here. This is just the entryway. Those are just the bathrooms back there. Yeah, well, that's the armor we threw out. Did I miss anything at all back here? I don't think so. I think we really looted the shit out of this room. We didn't, um... We didn't happen to f already complete that part of the quest, and I missed it, did we? Let's go to data. Quests. Oh, we did! I must have just missed it. Awesome. Okay. Very good. Very good indeed. We're done here, guys. And we got a big haul of shit to take back and, and sell. And we'll turn in this quest for Moira, and I don't know what she gives us as the reward. I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this game. But, yeah. All right. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to cut the camera here, but I will I'll keep my finger ready to hit the record button in case something crazy happens on, on the way back to Megaton. And um, let's also... Do a quick save here in case something crashes when we leave the cell. And I'll see you guys back in Megaton. Uh, or unless we run it, happen to run into a traveling vendor along the way, too. Did we already check this machine? Yeah, we did. All right. We are back Welcome in Megaton. We do have Megaton. Uh, Lucky Harith, who's a vendor. Uh, so let's go to our apparel, and we want to put on... Oh, what's the one that gave us... Yeah, the Roving Trader gives us Barter 5. And uh, the two hats just give us Perception, which isn't really going to help us a whole lot. Um, okay, so currently we have 117 caps. A wanderer without a weapon doesn't last long out there. Pick up the best now, while you still can. Gotcha. Okay, so... Um... Let's, uh, I'm here to buy. It's my pleasure <clears throat> to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Okay, as a general rule, pick. I'm never going to sell ammunition because we can break that down to make our own ammunition. The mini nuke. It's probably going to be a while before 
uh, when I said ammunition, I mean normal bullets and energy cells. Probably gonna be a while before we're gonna get the fat boy or even be able to use it, and I could use 113 caps right now. On the other hand, he only has 241 caps, so we'll come back to that. Um, I want to sell the heaviest stuff first, which so let's actually start with all of this extra armor that we have. Um, so the Wasteland Settler outfit, don't care about that. The Brahmin skin, don't care about that. Raider Waste Hound helmet. Uh, we've, we were wearing the motorcycle helmet, right? Yeah. It needs to be repaired, though. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I want to keep the blaster helmet because of the explosives buff. <clears throat> um, this one's in a lot better shape, though. So let's get rid of that one. Fire resistance and arc light helmet. That might not be bad to hang on to for now. We're using the motorcycle helmet, though it's completely damaged. No point in selling it because we won't get any money for it anyways. We might hang on to this. I'll bet you these uh, impede our vision in, in some way. Okay, so all this raider armor here. Um, I'm just going to probably sell all of it. That gives us 20 fire resist. Alright, maybe we'll hang on to this. Uh, that one's in the best shape. Okay, let's sell this one. And this one, and we'll keep that one for now. Badlands armor just gives us AP, which is nice, but... Don't really care. And then this is our normal armor, which is actually still in really good shape. Okay. We want to keep the Robco jumpsuit for repairs. Ball cap with glasses. Uh, that's the same as the sheriff's hat, so let's just sell that. Obviously, we want to sell all the pre-war money. Uh, any junk stuff we'll sell. Oh, shoot. He's already out of caps. Oh, frick. Okay. Um. That means we gotta... We gotta take some stuff back from him. That we've tried to sell to him. Well, actually, no. You know what? We could... We could buy some things from him. Uh, we need more stim packs. Damn, I hate... I hate spending money on those right now, though. All this stuff is in really bad condition, too. A gas bomb? Hmm. Yeah, his weapons kind of suck, man. They're in terrible condition. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's buy these. Yeah, let's buy those. Um, armor piercing. Let's just buy his normal uh, 10 millimeter rounds. And the rest of that we sold to him. Okay, so that means he has 91 caps back. So now let's sell all the junk. Okay, we got rid of that. We got lots of knives here. Um, a, let, let's sell them the tire, iron, and the... Inflicts fatigue damage. Hmm. And then it says KO, like knockout. Yeah, I still think I like the idea of... The machete. Um. H and H tools nail gun. We can't. We won't get anything from that because it's completely damaged. This Chinese plus pistol. It's got a laser sight and custom handgun parts. 
and it's worth 149 bucks, probably because of the mods that are on it. I wonder, I wonder if we could take those mods off of there. Let's let's sell the 22 pistol. Tales of a junk town. Oh, let's sell all of the alcohol. Um, I'm going to sell all of the illicit drugs, or as much as we can. Uh, sell darts for 10 caps. He only has 8 caps left. Okay, so that takes all of his cash. Now, is there anything else that he has that we want to buy back from him? How many shotgun shells do I currently have? Here, let me grab this. I've got nine 12-gauge rounds. <clears throat> it, wait a second. Is this shotgun... Here. Is that using 12-gauge? Oh, no. That uses 20-gauge rounds. Oh, interesting. Okay. <clears> okay. <throat> I just wish that I could, you know, repair more of these. This, okay, so these guys are 12 gauge shotguns. And that one's in reasonably good condition. I'd like to repair this or get this repaired though and, and use it. But now that it's, I see that it's a 20 gauge. So that does 3.1 damage with seven pellets. Whereas these do 3.48 damage with 18 pellets. This one, this one does the most damage overall, but it's also uh, the most damaged. I mean, we've been doing pretty good so far with our 10 millimeter pistol um this range master hunting rifle is pretty nice too and it takes five five sixes but we have almost two we have over 200 five five six ammo already so i don't think i want to buy more ammo for that uh the chinese assault rifle that does five five sixes as well cleaners machine gun does 10 millimeter All right, so I'm sorry this is taking me so long, you guys. Let, let's buy these 12-gauge rounds. And 5.56. Five, um, he's got, you know, a few of the armor piercing and the hollow points, but not a ton of them. So let's buy all of his 5.56s five, as well. Now that gives him 41 more money back that we can then use to sell off uh, these and 88 caps, change that down to 39. Okay, so that's still, uh, let's go ahead and accept that. So that leaves us with 358 caps, which isn't bad at all. And we still can sell to some people um, inside of Megaton, too. I'm, I'm very tempted to sell this just because here again, you know, that's a lot of coin right there that we need more than we need to hang on to a mini nuke. Most likely by the time we're able to use a fat Give me boy, a shout if you need anything else. we'll be able, you know, we'll have I'll more of those anyways. All right, now let's see what he can do. <laughs> It'll go take over 2,000 caps, 2,400 caps for us to repair everything. His repair skill is 51. So this is the pistol that... Oh, okay. So I think... I see. Okay, so it's saying... Basically, it's saying that... 
For 105 caps, it's going to add two more hit points onto this. That is not worth it. Yeah, we have got to get our repair skill up. Like, totally. I think that's what that means. Hmm. Uh, what? Okay, what about this police shotgun? Yeah, that's just so expensive, and we, and we don't hardly get anything. It just doesn't repair enough. So I think we just need to, uh, to get our repair skill up and do it ourselves. It's just not worth it to have pay for these guys to do it. I wonder what this, what these white squares mean though. Does that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means because it's still, if you look at the condition on the right hand side and then down a little ways, is it's only going to repair it by that much and it's going to cost me almost a hundred caps. So yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, all right, I think we're good. Keep your skin. Thank you for your business, sir. Good to see you. I can't take it anymore. Thirsty. How's our weight now? Okay. We're 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 still over Wagner, our maximum weight, but we'll sell some more stuff in Megaton. I think actually what I want to do first though, now that I Oh yeah, we probably better go see the doctor first to get our head fixed. <laughs> coming with the cloud. Here. And Let's do uh a quick save before we change cells again. All right. Here, you can't complain you that... best have cancer because from the looks of you, you're breaking rule number one right now. Dude, I got a serious head injury. Good Lord, this will take some work. 100 caps Yeah, see how work. much he's charging us for this? Okay. We got to get fixed. All right. Hold still. How attached to your fingers would you say that you are? Oh, wait. Pretty attached. Never mind. There it is. All better now, you big baby. Okay. Um, there was something else I needed. Uh, I need to buy medical supplies. Okay. So, let's sell all the drugs to him because I'm not going to use them. Just because here again of the potential for us be being addicted to it. Oh, shit. He doesn't have very, hardly, hardly any caps at all. Okay. Well, here, let's do this. Let's buy a stem pack. I like the military bandages. Oh, shit. I don't like them that much. <laughs> all right, hold on. Uh, let's take a another rad X. No, I don't want a rad X. If it was a rad away, I'd take it. Um... So we could, uh, what does this do again? Restores 13.2% of max health and stops bleeding. That gives us plus 12 HP for four seconds. Pretty expensive though. Cure animal poison. We still have a few of these. Um, let's buy a couple more. Jesus, those are expensive. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to do that either. This stuff is so expensive. Um, okay, well, let's accept that. What the hell just happened? Why did I lose karma? Did I... Uh, what? That it? No. Um... How much are you going to charge Short. me for this? A hundred? No, screw that. That's I'll take a rat, rat away. All right, yeah. you know what? I, I don't know what I just did, so I'm going to reload from that quick save. Let the men because whatever I just did, I didn't mean to do. You came in here on your own power. Good. What the? Oops. Well, uh, oops? What does oops anyway. mean? <laughs> You'll be fine without it. All better now. Okay. Well, need to buy medical supplies. Not quite. Okay, so uh, let's do this again. So we bought a stim pack from him.
And then we sold all of the drugs to him. And then I accept. What the fuck? Jet is highly addictive and damaging the nervous system. So are, is it is it punishing me because I can't sell Jet to a doctor? All right. That it? I'm the tech. We're going to try yeah. this. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how this works. So let's just try this one more time. Let the men... If anything, I should be able to Christ sell it to him sake, and he could look sick and use it for legitimate purposes. Not on himself, of course. Is it raining? This. You all right up there? Need another painkiller? All better now, you. All right. Let's get on with it. All right, let's try something. If I sell after burner gum, do I lose karma? No. Ant nectar? No. Buff out? No. Cat eye. What does that do? Oh, low light vision. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Medex? That get, oh, that's 25 damage resistance. Mintats. And, uh, ooh, is it going to nail me for Psycho, too? No. So it just doesn't like me to sell Jet. How interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't want to lose Karma. So, so we're going to keep that. Okay, so he only has five caps. Let's buy the stim pack from him. And I think that's probably all I'm going to buy from him. So. That gives him 49 caps. Dirty water, purified water. Oh, really? That gives that's worth 40 caps, really? Wow. Okay. Um Let's sell him one nuke. Well, hold on. Is that what I want to do? I don't want to sell any of the food until we talk to Moira. Okay. Yeah, let's sell him a nuke nuka cola grape. And that'll get that gets us nine wait, what? He still has forty caps. Nuka Cola Quantum. Twenty eight caps, forty two caps. Now he's got 12 caps. Oh, we only get five for that. Okay. So let's sell one more dirty water. I'm just trying to figure this out, guys. I know it's hopefully, I know it's might be getting a little bit. Okay. Can that we is? get on with it? <laughs> but I'll get better. Promise. Okay. Good. Try not to. Now we should be back to normal. Yep, okay, all of our limbs are good, our head's good. Um, we have all of our hit points. We only have six rads. Yeah, we're in very, very good condition. We are a bit thirsty, though. I like how this starts to turn, you know, yellow. So let's go to item and aid and drinks, and we'll have a purified water. Oh, we're still kind of thirsty, aren't we? Uh, 256. This will give us 10 rads. Well, you know what? Let's not drink that until unless we have to.
Okay, so our H2O, our water and our food's in pretty good condition. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, we're done in here. Oh, man. Ooh, nice weather effects. Well, let's talk to Moira. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food and medicine from that super duper mart? It wasn't easy, but I got the food and the medicine. Really? You did? I did. You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Okay, well, I found raiders and a robot, and they're all dead and I'm not. <laughs> Whoa, really? Raiders and robots? Mm -hmm. I guess I wasn't the only one to think about checking those doors. Looks like you gotta be careful looting them. You have to be careful and you have to carry a big gun with lots of ammo. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kinda great after a while. Oh, oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you and it should automatically make most food and drink, um, more, um, better. Oh. Okay. Nice. Food sanitizer. Sanitizer active. Food and drink improved. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do the landmines Land next. Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. Okay. Do I have to have a s specific skill? Probably I've explosives. I've stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it seems kind of unhealthy. How will you make it worth my while? What's it's a fair than question. For avoiding explosives than to pay you with explosives. Frag grenades, in this case. I got a pretty good haul of them recently. Yeah, okay. And if you bring me back something to study, maybe I can make some modifications for you. Nothing like tinkering with a live mine, right? Nothing like it. Okay. I'll head into the minefield. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Gotcha. Okay. Um, let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? Okay, so she's got 216 caps. Um, she's got lots of ammo, which is good. She's got oh, she's got six stim packs and a super stim pack. Look at that. A 10 millimeter pistol that's in really good shape. A military carbine. A, a marine assault rifle. That's 308. That's 556. This mercenary rifle is 556. Arc welder. Sure. Oh, that stuff we sold to her before. So she. Apparently she hasn't cycled her inventory yet most of that junk she has is probably stuff we sold to her okay so let's do this um i'm gonna sell the 20 no actually no i'm not we're gonna break those down um let's sell her the mini nuke let's sell her let's go back down here to this armor we said we wanted to keep this for because of its fire resistance. Motorcycle helmet. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I guess I don't excuse me, have any armor I wanna sell to her. <clears throat> so I wanna look at something. Um let's Oh good. We got a bunch of MREs. Uh, let, yeah, let's sell her any spoiled food. Is 
See, these ant bits don't give us any radiation at all. And none of that stuff is spoiled, so we'll keep that. <clears throat> we need to cook that stuff. Do you have any water? I'll, I'll bet you the lady that runs the restaurant would have water. Um, but there's Moira. She has whiskey. Yeah, but no water. Okay. So what I want to do... Okay, let's accept this. Let's exit. Good hunting. Remember. All right, I'm going to do a quick save for a second. And then I want to see if... What can I repair? Okay, I could repair this. I can repair this. The thing is, is it worth it to, for me to do that, though, as opposed to just selling these things separate? I don't know. I can repair the Mauser using the Chinese... Okay, yeah, because those are all kind of the same type of gun. I see what's going on there. This Chinese Pistol Plus has a laser sight and custom handgun parts. It does 36 damage. The Mauser only does 29. But none of those do the same damage that my 10 millimeters do anyways. So I think I'm just going to sell those to Moira as they are. This I can repair with the sawed-off shotgun. But, yeah... Again, there's nothing for it, man. We we just got to get our repair skill up somehow, some way. Now, I want to go to the workbench. Recycling energy cell. Don't want to break down the med kit. I'll break those down, though. And I can't make any of the rest of that stuff. Let's break down the 22 long rifle. Then, uh, oh, what do we get for the nails? Break down nails. Oh, probably just scrap. Eh, I think maybe we'll try and sell those instead. This submachine gun oh no that uses 10 mils too this is the one that uses the 9 millimeter and it does 137 dps it's not in very good shape though the cleaners and submachine guns in a lot better shape but it uses 10 millimeter ammo I'm just trying to decide if I want to break down the 9 millimeter ammo or not We got 50 rounds of it. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Don't try. How are those hot little potatoes? What the frick are because, you talking about? You know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. Oh, she's talking about Anyway, what <laughs> the What the landmines? I'm going. What the hell are you talking about, lady? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um Uh, what do you know about the minefield? They say it was a town called Ridgefield. Until slavers cleared it out. Now, it's supposedly cursed and just a death trap to visitors. Now, everyone calls the place Minefield and says it's a ghost town. Superstitious nonsense of... Okay. Um... What do you need? Self... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to sell her... Oh, I wonder why it wouldn't let me break those down. Maybe I'm not high enough skill. That's probably what it is. Uh, I want. I think I want to keep the energy cells. We seem to be find a lot of this liquid nitrogen, so let's just let's sell that to her. Um, and then I want to get rid of some of these 
God, so let's just sell the 9mm pistol, the Chinese pistols. We'll sell this more damaged Colt. Yeah, I, I know she's out of money, but we're going to buy some stuff from her too to try and make up for that. I'm going to sell all 9mm pistols, but we will use 9mm for the this uh, antique machine gun. Okay. Uh, the Colt, that's a 10 millimeter. But we have this 10 millimeter pistol here. So let's sell the Colt. I want to keep the Range Master hunting rifle. Uh, do we. This has a Chinese assault rifle, short barrel, and a forged receiver. And it's in fairly decent shape. So I think I may want to keep that. Let's get rid of this short barrel shotgun. And the police shotgun, I mean, it jammed up on us so much, I think we're going to sell that. This, we won't get anything for at all, so we might hang on to it and try and repair it later. Uh, didn't I loot two laser pistols? Why do I only have one? I don't know. But I think I'm going to sell that to her as well. Man, we got a whole bunch of grenades. That's awesome. Throwing spear. Nah, I don't want that. Inflicts fatigue. Eh, no, I think we're going to sell that. Let's sell the knives. We'll keep the machete that has more stuff. Sell the switchblade, boxing gloves. And I think we're going to keep all of the rest of that. Okay, so now let's go over here. And the first thing I want to do is buy up all of her 10... Oh, sh she doesn't have any more 10 millimeter ammo. Oh, that sucks. Okay. She doesn't have any 12 gauge either. All right, let's buy the 5.56s. Five, Let's buy some stim packs. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, I want to look at her weapons again. So this 10 millimeter pistol is in really good shape. This marine carbine does 5.56. Five, uh, or uses 5.56. Five, five, I'm sorry. It does 90 damage, and it's in fairly good shape. Let's buy that. And let's sell her... See, this is, this is kind of sort of like a sniper rifle for us. But I don't think we need the Chinese assault rifle and the, uh, what, wait, what, where did the thing go that we just bought? Where did it put it? Oh, the marine carbine, right. So that does 90 damage. The Chinese... Assault Rifle does 71 damage. And it's not in the best condition. Yeah, let's sell that to her. Okay, so now, now she's out of money again. So we could buy from her... Probably, I would say, let's buy some more... Where did those stim packs go? Here they are. Hundred and thirty-two. She has two oh seven. Seventy-two caps. All right, let's do that. All right, so that still leaves us with five hundred and twenty-nine caps. We have fifty-three ten millimeter ammo. 
We have 261.556. You know what? Uh, I think I'm going to break down this 9 mil. Well, nah, I, I, we'll, we'll hang on to it. We'll hang on to it. Did we sell her the, the police shotgun? We, we did. Okay, so... But we can break down the 20 gauge ammo. Okay, so let's exit. Good hunting. Your repair skill. You've got. Is only 44. That it's even worse than. Than the other guys. That would get our backpack. Oh, I know what those squares mean. That means that that we're wearing them. That's a pretty decent repair on the backpack. Um, why don't we do that? That's a pretty decent repair on our 10 millimeter plus pistol. What about... Um, hmm. That's not a really good repair there. Oh, the motorcycle helmet. Yeah, let's let's repair that. Let's repair um for 67 caps. Eh. I think I'd rather put money into repairing the marine carbine cuz that's going to kind of be our main assault rifle now. Yeah, let's repair that too. And I guess we'll repair that and that. You know what? I'm just gonna repair have her repair all this stuff. I know it's damned expensive, but it's really one of the best things we can be spending our money on now, all things considered, I think. Okay. Done. Goodbye. Anything. So we still have 118 caps, but our weapons are in a little bit better shape than they were before. Oh, um, <clears throat> now I decided not to sell that. Okay, let's go back to here, and I'm going to break down the 20 gauge rounds. Oh, I wanted to sell some of these nails to her too. How are those hot little potatoes? Um. Let me see what you have for sale. Absolutely. So she's got a bunch more caps now because of all the repairs she did for us. So let's sell all of those to her. But I, I think that's all I want to sell her. Right. Okay, we're done. So she still has 375 caps. We'll keep that in Good mind. Hunting. All right, guys. So, yeah, I'd say... Um, oh, I should have saved before I left the cell. I'd say we did pretty good today. Uh, so we're healthy. We got a nice collection of weapons that are in... Most of them are in decent shape. Um... Some of the stuff we're going to take back to the garage and just store. And we have uh, we have nine stim packs, which is great. So overall, I'd say we're doing pretty damn good. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to do before we wrap up this episode. Feel his glow and be divided. There shall be no tears. No sorrows, um, no suffering, for in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardship of this world. I'm still trying to find the, the Manya lady, who everybody keeps saying we need to talk to. Oh, okay. I want to go, well, 
Okay, hold on a sec. You want something? When I was... When I was... Uh, who said that? Are you mine yet? No. Can't complain. When I was editing my last video, I, th I thought I saw... Like a... Kind of like a blue bus, like this one, that had a doorway that we could go into. Maybe it was this one down here. Yeah, Nathan and Manya's house. Okay. There we go. Uh. Hello? Are they just out walking around? You see Nathan around there you are. Well, hey there, stranger. Hi, I've been looking all over I'm for you. <laughs> the old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. Yeah, I've talked to him already. He wanted me to uh, join the uh, uh, the Enclave. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned Enclave all day. Yeah, he will. Day. You're right. Okay, I had some questions about this town's history. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. All right. What's this place made of? Long ago, before the war, they used to be machines. They were like buses, but they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to walk. You just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. Okay. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. So why didn't they move the bomb? Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Okay. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. Okay, I guess that's reasonable. Um, there are a lot of parts here for just one machine. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. Hmm. Okay. Why build the walls out of some old flying it's machine? It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there. Why not use it? Sounds reasonable. Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all oh, of us have the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Yeah, I do. Sorry. I had another question about Megaton. Sure thing, hon. How did the town start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Okay. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Okay. How'd they build the walls? Well, the raiders, for one. Once the town got big enough, They'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. Uh, what's a super mutant? So, eventually, <laughs> my father did something about it. My character wouldn't know what, and a few what others that is. organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really help keep the wolves at bay. 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, so it was just a collection of traders in the beginning. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. Okay. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while. That's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. <laughs> okay. Um, so can anyone live in Megaton? No. Space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. Okay. <clears throat> um, that's enough. If you say so, hon. How did you get here? I was born here, actually, just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland is work for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. <laughs> okay. Where did everybody else come from? Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho, well, let's just say that men can change. Okay. I hope. <laughs> okay. Um, who's in charge around here? Well, technically no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. Before he died, he threw anyone out who caused too much trouble. Okay. Now, Colin Moriarty runs just about everything. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. You ask me, he was behind Lucas's death. Mmm. I, maybe. I don't know. There's my, there might be more to Mr. Burke than, than I know at this point. Maybe. I don't know. That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's true. man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. Okay. Uh, I think you get the picture. All right, then. Any okay. I don't want to talk to, about Megaton anymore. Well, you come on back anytime you want to hear more. Thank you for the information. What's the word around town? There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. <laughs> He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. Okay. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right. Thank you, Manya, for... It's been nice. ...for all that information. Appreciate it. Okay, good. So we finally got to talk to her. We got a little bit of history about the town and all that stuff. All right, guys. I'm going to run back to the garage and stash a few things, and then we'll have to decide... Uh, what we're going to do in the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope hey you guys... Hi, I'm Lucy. Back. What? What? I really appreciate you doing this for me. I'm feeling better already. Okay. Um, thank you. Hey, thanks again for doing you this. You bet. We'll get it done. I promise. Uh, anyways, yeah. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.